Hello YouTube, this is an update on my uh, PS2 handheld. Um, I was looking, did a little more research on the AV port instead of using the AV port like cables. I'm still waiting on that, so I've got about two more days. I got till Tuesday, so I can see and power it on. Try power it on at least. Um, instead of using this cable, the AV cables, because it makes it bulkier. I did a little more research to see what was what on here. These little solder points, each little solder point on there, I don't know if you can see. Probably not very well because of poor quality. But uh, I'm running HD on my phone right now. The best I can do, but it doesn't seem to be very good quality when I'm looking on my screen right now. But uh, if it was a little brighter in here, but I don't really have a ceiling uh, light, so I just got lamp lights. But uh, did a little more research on the AV ports, and I knew these little big ones are here. There's four of them. There's one, two, and there's three. There's two on this side, and then two on this side. You can tell they're they're off. That's ground right here. That black cable that's coming out right here. That's ground. That's going to the ground, which I cut a component. One of those component. I, th I can't remember what those things are called. I think that's component cable. Uh, and I stripped it to where the ground is showing. I don't know if you can see it. The ground's right there. That copper, and then that red cable uh, is the uh, signal. So I have put the the signal which is the video part right here and then that's the ground I got the ground to the ground part right there and that other ground one that other keyboard here I was testing out it's actually to a headphone jack the ground right there here I'll show you a little demonstration right here like I fixed my headphones here my iPods instead of spending another 30 bucks or whatever for new headphones I just fixed it, put some uh, electrical tape around it after I soldered it back. I know it don't look pretty, but here, let me set it down. And uh, let me get my box knife here, do a little point. I don't know if you can see these little black lines in here. Those just separate it. I think they're black or green. These ones are green. But there's like, a line here and a line there. That separates each signal. Uh, the one that right here is actually the ground, and the middle one's the right, I believe. Yeah, the right, the right audio, and then the, this one right here is the top one is uh, left audio. So you got your left, your right, and then your ground for both of these. And uh, I did that. I connected the ground to the ground, as you can tell with this because it's actually hooked up to my iPod uh, jack to this a stand or whatever I got it on right now as you can tell the red light and you get to right and left speakers got that hooked up and then you get your right or here the red one cables the right signal which is on there so you get your see that green cable right here I'll start from the left to right instead the left one is the signal. I didn't have any yellow cable to s replicate uh, s uh, your signal, which is the video. And it goes from here all the way up to there to the TV screen. And then uh, your right audio is red, which goes to there. And it goes to the right. And then you get your green one up here. And it goes to the other one, which is left. Actually, no, that one, this green one goes to a black cable, I believe, yeah. So this black cable right here, it goes from left to right, it goes video, right, audio, and then left audio. Uh, but, uh, and then there's your power right here. The PS2 is actually upside down right now. That's why I can't see the AV ports or none of that stuff. But... I found some research and did a little research so now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with the AV port I'm gonna cut off the AV port 
And uh, the second controller, I'm going to do a little more research, I think. Maybe I may end up cutting off the second player controller port. Um, but I don't know. I might get a 64 megabyte memory card and put it right there for uh, memory to store my game memories. Because this one's about full because of free McBoots on it. And I'm a little out of breath at this second. I've been mowing for the past, I don't know, five hours. Got two lawns done. Uh, but anyways, I'm just going to show you since i got two more days left. I'll just mess around and see what I can do. That was kind of hard to do though because they're such small ports. I'm using 22 gauge wire. If you can go to 24, I would recommend, or even 26, but the less voltage can go through, the smaller the wire. I'm just going to, I would recommend just using 22 and using like the tip of the solder point and just dab it on there as best as you can. But you can't have the other points touching. And uh, right now the TV's on. And here's my fixed, uh, as you can tell, it's plugged up. But here we go. Push the little button, turns on. You got your audio. Just remember, no AV cable. Sounds coming out of there. Got my controller right here. Oh, wait, hold on. Got to turn on. Analog on. Oh, maybe the analog don't work. I forgot. Sorry. But that is hooked up. This controller. But, uh, yeah, I just cut my finger open. So just a few minutes ago, when I was stripping wires, as you can tell, it does work. your audio so at least I found out what it was just remember your ground is one of these four points you can choose any of them really I'll just go with this one it seems like the easiest so you don't have a bunch of wires bunched up in one spot it'll just make it easier on you put a little bit of solder on it you use flux too when you do this soldering stuff it's really good stuff helps you a lot it makes everything a lot easier Put it on the wire, put the solder on the wire first when you do this, and then use the tip of the iron tip and hold the wire right there and then dab on there until it melts onto the point. That's just a little demonstration, or I will not have the AV port. I'm just gonna snap it off, or not snap it off, but cut it off with my Dremel, as well as the Ethernet port. Um, I don't think I've ever used it, I don't, I'll probably just keep it though, but this. Uh, Right here, I think it's for surround sound. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure, really sure what it is, but I'll probably cut that off too. Just less weight, and uh, show you how you can just cut it off with this little push button. Since I broke it, my uh, with the original switch on it, just push it down, hold it. it takes a little longer than usual. Ta da, and it turns off. Like that. But yeah, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Python Cheese. I will, if you ever need any help, just send me a comment down below. Please like, subscribe to my channel, help me out, build my channel. Uh, so, let's see you guys later. Maybe.